Annabel Lee by Edgar Allan Poe. It was many and many a year ago, in a kingdom by the sea, that a maiden there lived whom you may know by the name of Annabel Lee. In this maiden she lived with no other thought than to love and be loved by me. I was a child and she was a child in this kingdom by the sea, but we loved with a love that was more than a love, I and my Annabel Lee, with a love that the winged seraphs of heaven coveted her and me. And this was the reason that, long ago, in this kingdom by the sea, a wind blew out of a cloud, chilling my beautiful Annabel Lee, so that her high-born kinsman came and bore her away from me, to shut her up in a sepulchre in this kingdom by the sea. The angels, not half so happy in heaven, went envying her and me. Yes, that was the reason, as all men know, in this kingdom by the sea, that the wind came out of a cloud by night, chilling and killing my Annabel Lee. But our love, it was stronger by far than the love of those who were older than we, and many far wiser than we, and neither the angels in heaven above, nor the demons down under the sea, can ever dissever my soul from the soul of the beautiful Annabel Lee. For the moon never beams without bringing me dreams of the beautiful Annabel Lee, and the stars never rise, but I feel the bright eyes of the beautiful Annabel Lee. And so, all the night tide, I lie down by the side of my darling, my darling, my life and my bride, in her sepulchre there by the sea, in her tomb by the sounding sea. Edgar Allan Poe's life, though meaningful and contributing towards literary history, was tragic and upsetting. When he was very young, his parents died, causing him to live with a new family. This was the inspiration for him to start writing. Edgar Allan Poe wrote many poems, short stories, and critical theories. His poems and short stories influenced the French symbolists of the late 19th century, which comp contributed to the altercation of the direction of modern literature. It is this philosophical and artist transaction that accounts for much of Poe's importance in literary history, stated by Poetry Foundation. The poet's writing life was very successful, though he was traumatized when his wife, Virginia, had suddenly passed away. This left him traumatized, however, it was a creative influence for some of his poems. Overall, Edgar Allan Poe's life contributed to his writing themes of dark, eerie, and sinister. The poem Annabel Lee is about the grief of the narrator when his love was taken away from him. Edgar Allan Poe accentuates the desperation and longingness of wanting, needing, your loved one to return back to you. Poe's writing illustrates how the loss of a loved one, Annabelle Lee, completely made the lover feel broken. No one could distract him from her haunting grave. This correlates to the poet Edgar Allan Poe because the poem was about Poe's grief for his wife that died suddenly. Edgar explains in the poem how the angels were jealous of the love they shared, so they deci decided to take away Annabelle, thinking that the love would vanish. In the poem, one of the lines are, For the moon never beams without bringing me dreams of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. Edgar included this slide to illustrate how even though his wife was taken away from him, nothing could take away his love and the memory of her. He continues on saying how their love was boundless and not even death could take that away from them. Throughout the poem, Edgar Allan Poe uses figurative language to help the reader understand the poem better. Poe includes personification in the poem when he writes, The angels not half so happy in heaven when envying her and me. The line is suggesting that the angels were envious of their happiness and love. This is personification because angels can't be envious of the living, especially since it is controversial to their characteristics and well-being. Edgar Allan Poe included this figurative language into his poem to give reason and find justice as to why Annabel Lee was taken so unexpectedly. Poe explains how the angels were jealous of the love and wanted it for themselves, which was so strong that the angels weren't half as happy as they. Poe concludes that the angels decided to take Annabel away so their love could dwindle and fade. This is one of the many instances of figurative language that Edgar Allan Poe includes in, his, in Annabelle Lee. Furthermore, Poe's attitude in the poem helps the audience understand the sorrow he felt when Annabelle, his wife, in real life, died suddenly. In the beginning of the poem, the tone was happy, peaceful, and full of compassion. However, when the death of Annabelle Lee is introduced in the poem, the tone quickly shifts from delightful to depressing. For the rest of the poem, Poe's attitude continues to be despairing and full of de desperation. Although the tone of the poem becomes daunting, the writing also shows how there is still compassion towards the character Annabelle Lee. The speaker and poet's attitude toward the poem are the same. Edgar Allan Poe wrote the poem about his wife who died suddenly and was completely devastated about it. Poe felt and wrote how compassionate he was towards his beloved even after her death. So the constant attitude throughout the poem was the compassion for his, his loved one. 
Poe's overall theme in the poem, Annabelle Lee, is that the love will prevail even through death. The poet is trying to tell you that if your love is strong enough, nothing can stop you, not even death can stop the immense amount of love you share. Moreover, the poem is about how compassionate the narrator is towards Annabelle Lee and the desperation and need for her to come back after she dies.